as Dan here at PTV, welcome to the first live vlog. Uh, we're lucky enough to have Jai here from 660. Good to see you, man. How are you? Good, mate. Good. Um, on the eve of uh, your Sales Street gig tonight, it's pretty exciting. How do you feel? Sort of, does it um, shake up to be a big one? Mate, really looking forward to that. Really looking forward to it. I haven't been back here since we played the studio, so um, yeah, we're just looking forward to putting a good show on for everyone here. I've heard a lot about that studio gig. It worked out quite well. I mean, that's a big thing. Yeah, I mean, we were doing a lot of sort of smaller gigs, not, not a lot, but we had done a few smaller gigs in Auckland and sort of got to the point where it was, you know, whether or not we could step up and just go for a bigger show. And uh, luckily we did because it turned out to be a fantastic show and a uh, really successful. Yeah, very good. Thanks. So, like, just, just quickly to step back a little bit in time, we did, uh, what, what is 660? We did start with just for the guys that potentially might not know you yet, but where did it all begin? Well, um, basically, uh, much and I met down south in uh, Dunedin studying, and um, that's when we first started playing together and we started jamming and all of that. And, um, yeah, basically, 660 on Castle Street was our first flat. And um, yeah, that's where we basically really got together and started writing a lot of songs. And basically, yeah, you know, that's where all the, uh, the Don't Get Your Rants and the Choice and the Chosen and that kind of style of song really came from, that 660 flat. And, like, yeah, just having all our boys there and all of that. So yeah. I've sort of um, come from a Canadian background as well, so I understand you know how like the social network comes to be and being part of that. Do you think that's you know being integrated with that's been a big growth and a big part of where success has got to? Definitely, we were really lucky in the sense that um, all our friends that were with us at university uh, would fly home and spread our music to all of their friends. So I mean, in that sense, we we're really lucky. But the other side of it was, you know, our Facebook and our web media that we really pushed and we really put a lot of time into. It. And that's been valuable in terms of uh, spreading our music and basically all the way So go, go sort of back to the music. When you say that you sort of started in a, you know, same before, like in a dummy sort of. Um, I mean, it's really hard to sort of pinpoint what you guys are now. When you, I mean, you, you listen to your initial EP, and it's quite. You know, there are other like that yeah. roots moment in there, but then in the dub moment, but now you go see a live gig, it's, 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 it's a pretty crazy, it's just a good yeah, life experience. So that, do you sound valuable or is it different sort of, for your album, for your live? You know, no, def our, de our sound is definitely developed. Um, I mean, the best way I can explain it would be, like when much when I started writing music, there was a big, uh, a big push for New Zealand bands, you know, the chorus, uh, the Fat Freddy's, the Black Seeds, we're all doing really well, and even, even if it's subconscious, Sorry, subconsciously. Um, you know, we really, uh, we really picked up on that. And um, yeah, I mean, the difference with it now is like we have so many different influences in our group. So I mean, when Marlon came in, that was that whole sort of, um, you know, electric feel that you hear, that you hear now. And, um, yeah, so I mean, we're completely different, but obviously, but, the, yeah. the new album coming out, we're going to get a bit of a surprise, or like you've been saying, you can't tell me too much about it, but. Yeah. Blow your mind, basically. Hopefully it'll blow your mind, but yeah, we're really working on some different stuff and um, really Ooh. trying to put together some good music, you know. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully people like it and uh, yeah, yeah we'll be able to get it out. Yeah. Um, so you personally, you're from the East Coast, right? So you'd probably appreciate the show going to sort of, we'll just give that to you for the yeah, it's about time. You know, East Coast toast. Yeah. Um, but uh, going sort of back to where you're, you're the other lead guitarist, and what are your sort of influences? Have they sort of come from the band, or have you sort of, how's that all developed? Um, definitely, uh, like my influences or where I credit a lot of my style to is based on that sort of old school style, like the Jimmy Pages, the Jimmy Hendrix, you know, Jeff Beck, um, Clapton, you know, that kind of stuff. But really, a lot of music that my father listened to, but it's sort of like this, you know, really started picking up and playing them. And uh, but I mean, saying that, like a lot of uh, a lot of my style now, I do I do based on older old playing, but um, I do enjoy so much newer stuff. Like Hinky Bass guitar, is absolutely, you know, I think he's amazing. Uh, Slash, you know, great guitarist. Um, yeah, I think I'm, I'm more sort of old school, but yeah, definitely a bit of newer as well. So yeah, that's the best way. And so I mean, we started we started the year off uh, 2010 as the sun was going down. 2009, it has been. Um, and then the first place to see the sun in the big year ahead of you, it was probably 15, 20,000 people who were there. Then, how's the, sort of, how's the year going? And we're a bit winter now, and it was a pretty crazy summer, and we're just starting to get into the next one. Like, what's, what's to come? Like, have you got a pretty pretty after this 
Oh, like typically, yeah, like tonight we, we kick off these Jameson shows. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, we, we definitely got a big year ahead. Like, we're looking forward to playing world shows. We've got the first New Zealand tour coming up, first Australia tour. Are you going to get out Yeah, we'll get out of the shore. I'll be in the market over there. Uh, hopefully, October. But um, yeah, I mean, from from starting off with Brilliant Vinyl at the end of 2009, just, uh, yeah, it was a great big start to the year, pretty much. And, um, yeah, we've just gone up and up since then, so. And so that Aussie sort of tour will line up your potentially your album release? Hopefully release it after we get back. Yeah, yeah. that's the start of it, really. You know, like that's, yeah, basically. And what you were saying before, that was sort of maybe get a little bit of a shot from what we might have heard previously on your first EP. Is it, is it going to be quite different, um, you know, um, more to that? Yeah, it won't be too shocking, but it'll definitely be a bit different from what you've heard. Like, I mean, for people who follow the EP, like, it won't be so much like that, because like, we have developed into a much heavier band. Yeah. Which is, yeah, which is, I mean, we're always going to keep that aspect of our slower songs, which we know we do have a strong following for, but yeah, but yeah we're looking forward to, to getting into a bit of heavier music and uh, playing, you know, some bigger shows and all of that, so. Yeah. We're obviously uh, really looking forward to the evening to see what you've kind of got. We might, we'll, we'll, uh, next, next time we see you on the camera, we'll be back in there and we'll show you a bit of footage and talk to some of the fans. But I uh, wish you all the best, mate. Like, everything's going to go well for you and I'm looking forward to being very nice. Yeah. Thanks very much. Thank you.